what is it that makes us even want to make a resolution? I mean, it's an interesting question. Why is it at the beginning of the year we have this tradition? But it goes beyond tradition. It's something inside of us that makes us want to make things better. I think part of it is the calendar gives us this idea that we can have a fresh start, that we can start from fresh and have this great victory. The only thing that's going to make you happy in the year ahead and the decades ahead is going to be having you have an experience where on a regular basis you feel like your life is making progress. So the secret to real happiness is progress. Progress equals happiness, and if we can make progress on a regular basis, we feel alive. And that's why at the beginning of the year we get this thing like, okay, I can have this fresh start. I can really do what my soul desires. I can expand. I can grow. I can improve. I can change. Or maybe better than change, I could progress. You could take my suit. I got another one. You could take my car, I could get another one. You could take my house, I could get another house. Uh, but when you take my time, you have taken something from me that is totally irreplaceable. We take all kind of classes for money management. We, we know how to manage our money. We know how to repair our houses. We're working on our hair and our bodies and all of this kind of stuff. We do everything except the most important thing is to value our time. We have traded effectiveness for busyness. We are just as busy as we can be. And we think because we're busy, we're effective. But I want you to challenge your schedule for a minute and ask yourself, are you, are you really being effective or is your life cluttered with all kinds of stuff that demands you and drains you and taxes you and stops you from being your highest and best self? And are you substituting busyness and all the chaos that goes along with busyness from being effective? Where do I start? And, and when's the best time to start? And I have a very simple answer for that. Here and now. That's it. You, you want to improve? You want to get better? You want to get on a workout program or a clean diet? You want to start a business? You want to write a book or make a movie or build a house or a computer or put together some mobile application? Where do you start? You start right here. And when do you start? You start right now. 80% of the things we do are busy things that we do in an area that is not effective. That the average person only spends 20% of their time doing the thing that they are really gifted at, created at, passionate about, excited to do. And the rest of it is all the dismal, dumb stuff that we all have to do in order to survive. So if you want to make real progress, then you really got to look at your life in a different way. You got to say, I got to take control of this process and not just hope it's going to work out like people do who make a resolution. Because really, isn't that what they're really doing at the beginning of the year? They're saying, well, here's my resolutions for the year. And they really basically tell you their wishes. It's their wish list. It's what they hope it all comes together. And then they call it a resolution, but they don't know what a resolution is. When you resolve something, to have a resolution is to resolve it. When you resolve, this is how it's going to be. That's when you cut off any possibility except the thing you've committed to. Take full responsibility for your life. Accept where you are and the responsibility that you're going to take yourself where you want to go. Someone said we have two primary choices in life. We can either accept conditions as they exist or we can take the responsibility to change them. See, a lot of people want to exempt themselves from taking responsibility. All they want to do is talk about the problem. Every time you see them, they'll tell you their story over and over and over and over again. No, no. You want to take responsibility for your life. I got me here, I can get me out of this. And I'm getting out. I'm not going to be a volunteer victim. You got to have strong enough reasons that you're gonna follow through when the going gets tough. 
That's one of the biggest things missing for most people. They say, oh, this is what I want to do. It's not very exciting, it's not very compelling, but most importantly, they don't have strong enough reasons to push themselves through what's going to be necessary to get that dream, to get that goal, when the inevitable challenges come up. When you're starving, hungry, and you're trying to go on a diet, right? When you got no time, and you're stressed out, and you haven't worked out still, and that's what you're supposed to do. When the economy gets tight, and what you thought you were going to do doesn't work, and so you give up on the goal instead of finding another way to get there. You don't let the fear take you over if you've got strong enough reasons. Recreating you, and you have the power to do that. You can decide that you're going to change, that you're not going to be a wimp. You can decide that you're going to stand up to life. You can decide that I'm going to live each day as if it were my last. You, can, you have the power to make that decision. You can decide I'm going to work on myself and develop myself. I'm going to empower me. And all of these things that are happening to me right now, they're just temporary inconveniences. They're not stronger than I am. I'm in charge here.